much. And well, with only two trading sessions left in the third quarter today, tomorrow, it's been a difficult month for stocks with investors now looking ahead to October in the fourth quarter, also known as Jinx Month. October is Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery joins us now for a look at what to expect. Jared, they're not going to like that. There's a 13th, a Friday the 13th that's in October as well. My goodness, I'll that tell you what, it, it's right before my birthday, so I'm going to have that day off. I'm not worried at all. Um, but right now, S&P 500 pedaling in the right direction today, but I don't think uh, the short-term weakness is quite over. Having said that, let me just show you what we might expect for October. This is what happens historically going back to 1960. I have the last four months of the year, and this purple line down here, that is September. If you invested $1,000 in 1960 only in the month of September, it would be worth um, just a little bit more than half of that right now. Now, we have October. Guess what? That's the next one up here. That's that cyan line. But you'll notice there are some big uh, swings in here. October known for a month of volatility. And I'm going to take a look at the VIX in a second. But after that, we have December and then November. So by the time we get to November, it tends to be more or less smooth sailing, especially in December. But we remember from 2018, we had that bad, mark that bad bear market emerge uh, in the month of December. Um, that's taking a look at what the S&P 500 tends to do on a month by month basis. This is what the VIX does. And I have a little bit more granularity here. Uh, I showed this briefly in the last hour. We have the potential, the potential for historical tendencies to bring the VIX higher into October 12th. So that's about the middle of the second week of October. And then I want to show one more thing before I bring it around. This is a CNN fear, fear and greed index. We just ticked down to the fear, extreme fear level 24. Now we can bounce around in here for a while, but Typically, this is a mean reversion signal. This is a contrary signal such that we, are, we have sentiment so low that the market is able to rocket off of these lows. Now, let me bring you to a current chart of the S&P 500. Um, we are nearing the 4,200 level. We were just talking with Josh Schaefer about Marko Kalanovich's 4,200 call. That would bring it right to about here. Tons of options activity at that 4,200 strike. So I think we do hit it. And we could see a bounce perhaps off of that. I'd also add that the NASDAQ is right at a level right here where it could theoretically bounce. Uh, but I don't really see the markets being cleared until probably that first middle of the second week of October are cleared. After that, hopefully smooth sailing into the end of the year. But these are just tendencies. Seasonality, which has been working very well this year, uh, accounts for maybe a third of returns. But that's it. Like I'd say, life can definitely intervene, guys. Brad, you want to sing an early happy birthday? Uh, Jared turns 25, or we just wait a couple weeks. Would you? It's up to you, Jared. I, I'm, I'm down for a, a singing fest uh, festivities here. Do you want the old school or do you want the Stevie Wonder? Oh, Stevie Wonder. Okay, we'll sing it in the break. Jared. Oh, wow, I thought you were going to oh, do it. Right. We can't do it right here. All right, yeah. Jared, we'll be right, right. back with you. I feel gypped. <laughs>